I notice when you go to some like uh, amusement parks, there's always that person that does the guess the weight, guess the height, oh, yeah, guess the age. Like I want you to do guess the helmet size this on Nick I and I. I might not hit on the first shot, but hopefully by the second. All right. Thank you. Look. Your head's bigger than it looks. How does that feel? <laughs> feels perfect. Snug and not too tight. I like the colors. Feels great, Klaus. I almost feel like hugging you. <laughs> Klaus Weinetter explains the best gear for ATVing in VT. Four wheel drive low is the best gear for where we're going because in four wheel drive low you can nail it and go, and at the same time you can back off and get engine braking, which is really nice when you're going in the water bar. So sometimes it sounds a little bit like this. Something like that. All right? Amazing. So let's roll. All right, take this puppy for a little spin. Tell you what, Klaus, I got some mountain dirt in my mouth and it's like, ugh, all gritty. You don't like to eat mountain dirt. Sorry I'm a little late, but I was following the lady in front of me with the blonde hair, oh, driving ridiculous. like a granny. I Come thought on. I was worried I was never gonna see you again. <laughs> We're at the top of this mountain. You got us up yeah, here. Yeah, you got up to the top of the mountain. You got a beautiful view of New Hampshire on a clear day. After we leave here, we're going to be heading downhill, finding some muddy terrain, and making our way over to the track. All, All right. right, let's All get right. it done. Did you know the only way to ride ATVs or snowmobiles on Killington Mountain is through Klaus and ATV Vermont? In fact, the state of Vermont has over 4,000 miles of snowmobile trails. What about ATV trails? Well the number of miles is unknown because new trails open up every year. One thing's for certain, we had a blast. <laughs>